How's it going, everybody? Sean, John, Ron, in the house. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. I know I am. And today we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting mod called the Frontier Distant Fog Weather Patch. Now, what this is supposed to do, according to um, the mod author, is uh, he applied a modified version of the Dusty Distance X edit script to the Frontier Weathers at uh, 89,000 during the day to make the patch. Adds ambience and covers up flickering LOD. Um, uploaded by Clavin and created by someone by the name of Scott Clam. Um, I gotta say, uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Adds a very cool weather effect for the frontier to make it feel like a uh, like you're in a snowy tundra. Um, since the frontier is a snowy tundra, um, I seem to think that makes it very immersive. So definitely gotta give this mod the immersive rating, at least for me. Um, I know Clavin, I know he's uploaded a bunch of other mods for uh, New Vegas that I've personally liked. Um, let's take a look at those. Uh, such as the uh, Zion Rocks, the retexture for the chairs in New Vegas, the window redux, that's really cool. Um, you know, he's also got a lot of cool other retext. This one's a real cool retexture, the warming for it. But today... We are looking, obviously, at the, uh, hold on, let's, let's go back. <laughs> uh, the distant fog weather patch for the frontier. And again, also, another uh, benefit to this is it hides the LOD for some of the uh, not highly detailed um, textures of the skyscrapers. Obviously, with how the, t you know, with how that mod is, you know, LOD isn't going to be something they're going to make insanely detailed textures with so you know um ha this mod will cover that up not completely but just just enough to where um you know you, you still know that there's a skyscraper but you're not paying attention to like those low poly details on the uh, on the skyscrapers themselves um i personally love it and even in my regular uh fallout new vegas playthrough I always use Dusty Distance. That is a great mod for covering up uh, pesky LOD nonsense if you don't feel like um, doing the other ways to do that, which are a lot more complicated in my opinion. Using something like Dusty Distance is probably really easy for that. And in this case, uh, this mod would be would pretty much do the same thing for the Frontier. So I definitely uh, give it an endorsement as uh, shown above. So make sure you guys endorse it. Uh, once you download it, definitely helps out the mod authors. And, um, you know, I am definitely going to be putting this mod in my stream of the Frontier that I normally do on Twitch. So, uh, you know, I'll probably talk about that a little bit when I'm uh, showing my comparisons of the, of the mod being active in my game. Uh, I'll show when it's not in my game and when it is. And I'll probably uh, put some text just to, you know make sure that that's clear that you know before the mod is installed and then after the mod is installed so you guys could see the um the difference in the game actually um and it's it's night and day you guys it's really great and uh i guess i'll just show that to you now okay so um we are in the frontier now uh this is my duder stanley uh, this is what it looks like so far with the distance without the uh, You know without the mod You could still see some of that, uh, you know the obvious non detail of the background there as opposed to the beautiful texture and date and you know stuff going on here um, Obviously now what we're gonna do now is a uh, download the or activate the mod I should say <laughs> and um, see the difference so before I'll probably even just make sure to put like a little caption that says ah oh, this is what it is before and then uh, an after so let's cut on over to the after real quick all right so we have the mod on uh, as you can tell the weather effects are 
you know, a lot more uh, noticeable at this point. We have the clouds here, uh, you know, just the fog, the snow in general. It makes you feel like you're more of in a, uh, a snowy tundra in the frontier as opposed to, uh, you know, what it is without it. You know, and it also has the added effect of hiding the uh, the LOD a bit, so pop-in isn't as bad for you. So all in all, I really do love the idea of this mod. And, you know, it just looks great with the Frontier, because look at this, you guys. Snowy tundra in a snowy place. Like, enough said, my duders. Anyway, as far as a rating for this mod goes, I'd probably say... I'd give here. Let's just walk around a little bit, just to make sure we get what we need here. Uh, here, I'll even take make sure I get a uh, a good a good uh, screenshot here. There we go. I'm gonna give this mod a a, a, a immersive snowman out of ten, just cause you know the weather is very immersive for the frontier. Makes it feel like you're actually in a snowstorm in the frontier. And, you know, it hides the, uh, you know, it hides some of that, uh, bad popping. So, 10 out of 10. Good job, mod author. He did a great job with this. This is going in my load order for the frontier. Um, I am going to be streaming the frontier tonight. <laughs> so, this is definitely going to be for that. And I'll probably go shill it on my stream as well. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, with that said, like I was saying, uh, I do stream Fallout New Vegas. In particular, I'm going to be streaming the Frontier. So, uh, you know, make sure to go check that out. And with that said, uh, I'm going to go, um, jump on these cars. I'm going to do some sweet, sweet parkour. Dun, 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 dun. Doing parkour. Looking in the dead. Oh, great. See, I already messed it up. Whatever. Anyway. Enjoy the snowstorm, guys. Enjoy this mod. Make sure to give him a download and an endorsement. And also, also to help me out, make sure to throw down a like to the video and subscribe to my channel because that also helps. And all right. And like, and you know, with all that out of the way, let's go shoot this sign. I do. I do. I do. All right. Did it hit? Did we get some did we get some bullet holes in there? No. Oh wait, did we? Uh no, we didn't. Okay. Anyway, peace everyone. I'm off to get ready for my stream for the frontier with this mod. End away.